One of my favorite features with VS Code is the ability to use the debugger that's built in. And what's really cool about this is you can come in here and choose this gear here and open this launch.json file. And I've got two different configs in here. The first one is for running my unit tests. So I can give it a type, um, tell it that it's a launch, and give it a name, that way it shows up in here. And then I can point it to my dollar workspace root into the node modules directory and tell it which test runner to run. So I could use this with Jest or with Mocha. You can also set up your application to run this way as well. I can now switch it to over to launch and I could actually hit go here and it would run my application for me. And in this config, what we're gonna do is we're gonna point it to a bin dub dub dub. This is an express app. We're gonna change the working directory to the workspace root. And then what you can do is since in development mode, we're using Babel rather than just running node bin dub dub, you can run node Babel node and it will transpile on the fly. And then you can also add environment variables if you need and generate source maps and all that. So let's switch back over to the Jest runner here. And what's cool about this uh, is I can actually open a test file and I can throw a debug in here. And when I hit run tests, I can open this console here. It should transpile. Sometimes I have to run it twice for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, usually it works on the second time through. I can run the test, and this time you can see that it actually stopped right here, and I can step over tests, and this is really useful if you have a test and you're just kind of trying to figure out you know, why it's failing or di different things like this. You can actually copy this stuff out of here uh, and run it in the console here. So it's a very nice feature, and I'm really excited to be able to actually debug um, I know unit tests and, and this works if you're actually running the application with the launch as well. So I can stop this one and I can switch over to launch. We'll just delete this and then I can run and this will actually spin up my node app in debug mode and uh, allow me to run it in the browser and then I could actually put breakpoints in my express routes and different things like that. So it's a really great feature.